Which of these was a hot 80s toy? Wooden milk wagon, Rubik's Cube, or iPod? What's it gonna be, y'all? I'm not gonna tell nobody what it's gonna be. That's, you're supposed to figure that out yourself. I mean, most toys come and go pretty fast, but one of these is hung on so well, there's still tournaments where people try to shave off tiny bits of solving time. That's right, I'm talking about the Rubik's Cube, y'all. Rubik's Cube, talking about that Rubik's Cube. Yeah, 356,275 have got it right. Congratulations to you, moving on. To question two. But before that, have you heard the word? We gotta. Hello, word nerds! That was the word, y'all. We got an all new live game show called HQ Words, where you solve word puzzles to win cash. So basically, if you know how to spell, you know how to win. Come out and play and win some money. Words is up next, right after trivia. So stick around. It's hosted by my girl, the word nerd herself, Anna Royceman. Wanna try it out? Tap that button right now. Just tap it right now and subscribe. Word up! Tell me what's the word? Word up! Question two. Here we go. In 1987, Ronald Reagan famously said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this what? Wall, ice luge, or Lamborghini poster? What's it gonna be? Alright. They called it the Cold War, but not because anybody was fighting over ice luges. Everybody loves ice luges. No. Ronald Reagan wanted Gorbachev to tear down the Berlin Wall, y'all. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Rip it on down. Yeah, the wall. 350,635. Moving on to question number three. Let's boogie. Which of these was the name of a popular 80s jacket brand? Please RSVP, hello guests, or members only. I was trying to find one of these today, but instead I, I put the blazer on top because I can't just show my goodies to the HQ universe. You know what I'm saying? Show you right. I can dig it. Can y'all dig it? Cool. If you wanted to look good in the 80s, you had a few options, okay? You had shoulder pads, uh, rip tights, right? Fanny packs, those are making a weird comeback. Uh, sweaters tied playfully around the neck. And of course, members only jackets. Look at that family. The wind breakers. Breaking all the wind. Take that wind, get out of here. 324,883 are moving on from question three to question four. Give me some more. Here we go. Which dungeon crawling arcade game was playable by four people simultaneously? Space Invaders, Frogger, or Gauntlet? What's it gonna be? Y'all remember going down to the arcade, having a nice chili pop with your friends, taking a roll of quarters and playing till the sun set. Yeah, I remember. Okay, cool. <laughs> a lot of arcade games allowed two players to compete, you know, taking turns. But then, from the ether, emerged a beast with eight buttons, four joysticks, and an insatiable lust for quarters. The somewhat multiplayer offline RPG, Gauntlet, babies! Gauntlet was the answer there. I used to play Gauntlet with my little sister. Red Warrior needs food badly. And then you run around and try to get a turkey dinner and that bring your, your hit points up a little bit, but it would, it would go down over time. That's right. Moving on. 263,503 got that one right. It's time for I, 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 I. Question five, question five. Question five, high, 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 high. Here we go. Who directed the highest grossing 80s movie that was not part of a franchise? Tim Burton, John Landis, or Steven Spielberg? Who's it gonna be? All right, funny thing. Of the 10 biggest movies of the 80s, nine were a sequel, got a sequel, or both. The only outlier? Why, it's the number one film overall, y'all. And Steven Spielberg himself said that there will never be a sequel to E.T. 141,783 in the place to be. About to break dance with me. Get up, get down, get up, 
I get down. Pick it on up. Pick it down. Yeah. All right. Question number six, y'all. What memorably happened during the women's 3,000 meter race in the 1984 Olympics? Everyone ran 3,400 meters. Cat on the track or runner take it down. I remember this like it was yesterday, y'all. Oh, that's right. Come on, oh, baby bubba. If you got what it takes, I'm Maddie Rich and I want y'all to quiz and these are the breaks. Here we go. Heavy drama went down in LA in 84 when two stars made contact on their way to the gold. Not that many people even remember the winner. That's because American Mary Decker was totally taken down by UK's Zola Bird. It looked like a trip, but that was an accident. <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Yeah. Question number seven. Here we go, y'all. Uh, let's get it. What 80s primetime TV show had an eight month cliffhanger thanks to a writer's strike? Was it Miami Vice, MacGyver, or Dallas? What's it gonna be? Well, I'm about to tell you. The March 21st, 1980 episode of this show ended with an infamous attack, and thanks to the strike, it was eight whole months before the world found out that it was Mary Crosby's character, Kristen, who shot JR on Dallas. Come on now, it's Dallas, y'all. 99,731, having fun. We almost done. Woo, let's go to work. Cool. I keep it funky. Oh, that's right. I just, I wish I had a cardboard box and just spin around. Okay. Question number eight. Know you're feeling great. Keep keeping it groovy like a drive-in movie. Here we go. Which of these Tom Cruise movies did not give a sales boost to Ray-Ban sunglasses? Risky Business, Top Gun, or Cocktail? It did not give a sales boost to Ray-Ban, okay? That's what we're looking for. Nobody tops Tom Cruise when it comes to pushing sunglasses in the 80s. Risky Business made every guy want a pair of Wayfarers. And, need I state, the Top Gun featured aviators? Huh? If only the bars and cocktail had been more brightly lit. Cocktail, babies. 73,595. I'm moving on to question number nine. Nine. Does this many show you right? Okay. Question number nine. What all-girl group had the number four billboard hit? I heard a rumor. Bananarama, the Go-Go's, or the Bengals? It's a lot of girl power in the 80s. Especially on the 80s charts, you know what I'm saying? But we threw you a very thin lifeline. The British spelling of rumor. Yeah, we put a U in there. And that hopefully signaled the only British group of the bunch, Bananarama! They was doing all this, like a bunch of octopuses, octopi. Yeah, 36,952 knew what to do. Look at you. It's time for question number 10, my friends. Get in and in. <laughs> Here we go, Q10. In the iconic top that scene in Teen Witch, which of these accessories is a boy not wearing? Suspenders, fedora, or vest? Hmm? What's it gonna be? I mean, well, hip hop definitely happened in Teen Witch. You got three nerds dancing with Polly, dropping some serious bars to the hottest guys in town, none of whom are wearing fedoras. Take a look. Look at how funky he is. Well, I'm a little upset that we showed that in Black History Month. Uh, <laughs> 13,890. I'm uh, moving on. That's a savage question. Fold it behind. Savage question song. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. I'm so sorry you got it wrong. Yeah. That was an 80s remix to the Savage question song. It's time for question 11. Let's go. What not as successful toy line came from the inventor of Cabbage Patch Kids? The Hug a Bunch, My Pet Monster, or Fur Skins? What's it going on? <laughs> Every rapper used to laugh like that. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. Xavier Roberts was not yet 30 when his greatest creation took off and made Christmas shopping and riots synonymous. It was probably inevitable that his second invention would come up a little short. Maybe if he called them the Cabbage Patch Bears, you know? Instead of fur skins? Weird name for a children's toy. Weird name. 8,066. I'm moving on to question 12, but before that, I gotta tell y'all, right after this, we got HQ words, baby. Okay, it's coming up next. Right after HQ trivia, so keep your phone close. That's what I'm talking about. And the moment we've all been waiting for. Question number 12, here we go. Question 12, ha 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 ha. What's that smell, ha 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 ha. Smells like points, ha 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 We up in the joint, yeah. Keeping it funky, yeah. All right. Question 12, whose music video still holds the record for most VMAs awarded to a single video? Aha, uh -huh. Herbie Hancock or Peter Gabriel? Who's it going to be? Well, that's right. There's no thriller on this list because it predated the VMAs. Yeah, it was that ahead of its time. And thus, a still unequaled nine VMAs went to Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel. Oh, snap, babies. 4,884 just won HQ Trivia. Let's go to work. Yeah. Woo! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ha, 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 ha. It's the 80s, y'all. Taking it back, all the way back. SS, S, Sing, 172, we got 10,000 points, player. Sweet Saya player. Striderber, Tim Canoe, Dr. Sarcasm. You won, you did it, babies. Congrats on all those points. They're gonna help help you uh, to level up so fast. You know, so proud of y'all. Yep, we got lots of surprises in store this season. Remember, we're giving away more money than we did last season. So keep your phones close, y'all. All right. Don't forget tomorrow the big show that will change animation forever. It's gonna be historic. It's a special HQ event live from Down Under in Australia. Good on ya. Crawly key, throw another Scott on the Barbie. Scott goes where no host has gone before for an HQ win in a way that's never been done before. $75,000 up for grabs. And again, a handful of lucky players are gonna win rare limited edition collectible capsules. That's a lot of words. Rare limited edition collectible capsules, y'all. <laughs> yeah, well, all right. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. Remember, the prize keeps growing for every point that you earn. We're giving away way more shmoney. Way more shmoney, y'all. The more you play, the more we pay. Ha, 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 ha. See you later, babies. Come on now to the breakdance party. <laughs>